In this tutorial, we're going to use the mesh we created in the previous kangaroo tutorials to add some patterns and stripes on top of the mesh using some very simple components in kangaroo. I've got an example file open and if you're a member of the different design you can download this and it's basically just an internalized mesh of the previous tutorial that we were using when we were doing those kangaroo 2 simulations. So to begin, we're going to um, try and create a strip pattern on top of this mesh. And what it's going to do is, if you create like some face boundaries, is it's going to basically try and create some strips um, along, you know, these kind of mesh faces that we have. So I'm going to go to the uh, Kangaroo 2 tab. Um, and we're going to go to the utility section of the Kangaroo 2, Roo 2 tab and I want you to go and select the stripper component. So straight away we can just plug that into um, mesh and what, what it will do is it will give us a bunch of strips um, in a list, you can hover over now, and rather than getting one mesh we're getting 270. So it's gone and created those strips into, you know, 270 separate, um, sorry, it's going to create that mesh into 270 strips um, of that actual mesh. To visualize this, let's use the dispatch component. And you just want your pattern to be true false. That's totally fine as a beginning point. And then I'm going to create a little custom preview component. I'm going to plug that geometry into here. And then this one into here. And I'm going to give it a color swatch so we can see those different materials. I'll make that one white and then I might make this one like a nice kind of uh, deep navy blue like that. And if we preview all that stuff off, oops, preview that off, we could go into like rendered mode and straight away we would see, you know, this nice um, almost pajama like strip of our mesh. So what it's doing is it's just finding all of the phases in mesh with the plankton input into um, Kangaroo. It's a little kind of library that's written for Kangaroo. And it's able to find all the mesh edges that correspond in these strips kind of on an iteration, which is pretty interesting little kind of pattern you could apply to any mesh. So I'm gonna group those guys and I'm gonna call that um, strips. Then I'm gonna create a copy of this mesh and we're just gonna disable all of those for now and we're gonna move on to the uh, next little pattern that we can use with some simple kangaroo tools. So the next one I'm gonna use is a checkerboard component. So if we go to mesh, we see checkerboard here. I'm just gonna plug that into there. And what the checkerboard component does, it doesn't give us faces, it gives us like ones and zeros. Now these ones and zeros can be assigned as true or false values. If I go and create a Boolean component, you'll see they'll all get converted into trues or falses, whereby one is a true and zero is a false. So I'm gonna actually explode um, my mesh with the mesh explode component right there. So just type in mesh explode when you search. Um, and then we're going to do another dispatch and we're essentially gonna dispatch all of these faces as the list into this pattern and I might copy these custom previews that we just had up here before I'll go list A into there and list B into there and enable those guys preview off and then you know we can visualize this once again in rendered mode we've now got like a nice checkerboard pattern over the top of our mesh so this is really easy and simple to do these kangaroo components are all native and all of the hard work's done for us really powerful tool if you want to just apply some super simple patterns onto your meshes so i'm going to group those guys i'll call them checkerboard like that and i'm going to then just create a copy of that mesh again and disable these components and I'm just going to go back to shaded mode again preview this guy on and we'll do one last little um, mesh patternation here we're going to do some stripes along the mesh edges of um, this geometry that we're using here uh, to do these stripes we're going to use this warp weft component down here so what this does is it basically finds all these lines that would be going across our mesh and it sep uh, separates them into two lists so i could create like a curve component here and out of warp we're seeing you're getting all these kind of like vertical lines and then if i go weft you're getting all these kind of horizontal ones so how can we use this as a little visualization let's copy our custom previews again i'm going to make these um Curves coming out of here white and our base mesh a navy blue. I'll enable all those guys and preview these off. And then I could go into rendered mode again. And oh, well, rendered mode doesn't actually render your um, 
your material quite annoyingly. So you might want to go and like, you know, just view it in shaded or create like a custom pipe from a different um, plugin. Uh, we could then, you know, just swap between these two and visualize those two things uh, like that. So those are a few really simple um, and interesting mesh patternation tools that you can find natively in um, the Kangaroo 2 physics plugin. In the next tutorial, we're going to try and create some slightly more intermediate patination techniques using the reparameterization tools available to us in Grasshopper.